Okay, you got zoomed in too much. <clears throat> Today I wanted to try an experiment with the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. So I tried to grab a, a really difficult file to print. And uh, so I grabbed the flexible tread tracks for, uh, I forget what it was, it's uh, Fab360, let's see if I can look up the name, oh, for the Wally. They had a Wally model and they had the uh, tracks and they print flat and supposedly when they're done they'll snap together and they should be flexible. Extremely intricate and fine on the first layer. <clears throat> In fact I had to start this print three times before I could get a clean first layer. Um, what I initially noticed was that when I brought the tracked file, let's go over and take a look at that for just a second. Right here you can see it in the viewer what the two tracks would look like. Um, when I put them in the slicer, the Bamboo Lab slicer, I found that it wasn't actually sitting flat on the bed. All my other slicers really put them there. But there is a put part on bed or whatever they worded as in the slicer. So I hit that and that moved it down. And that helped the first layer. But in order really to get the first layer to do a very clean first layer I had to up the temperature to 230 degrees for PLA and I upped the bed temperature to 70 Celsius and I was able to get a clean first layer. You can see it's booking right along doing the two treads. We're sitting at, let's move into the screen here, so it looks like we're sitting at 97% done, says you have two minutes to go. Shows the uh, bed temperature at 69 degrees Celsius and it shows the uh, hot end at 230 degrees Celsius. You can see I'm just running at 100% speed. I could go faster, I could go slower. Fan is running at 80%. And since it's almost done, I thought we'd just let this run and I'll take it off the bed and we'll find out whether it works or whether it doesn't work. Now, having up the temperature from uh, 220, which is the normal PLA temperature for generic PLA, I went to 230. I don't know if that'll cause some extra fusing together of parts. There's all these little pins between each part, which is supposed to allow the ends to snap together and allow the, the tracks to be flexible. We'll find out how that turns out. I have absolutely no idea. I've never printed this part before. I simply picked it because I could tell that based on the scale, it's small, the, each one of the treads is very small with fine detail and the little pins and everything, that it would be a real bitch for any normal printer to, uh, to do. So I figured, yeah, that's a good one for the uh, A1 Mini. Let's just find out how it does. And as you can see here, I'm just running uh, generic spool on the spool holder over there and we should be coming up on completion here because it says uh, zero hours zero minutes left layer 19 of 19 99 percent so I'm thinking it must be it must be finishing up right about now we'll find out if it gets up here to the front and stops, then we'll know. And I pulled all the way back. Yes, okay. I think that may be important for when I start taking it off the bed so we can see what's going on. Let's move the screen around to where I can see what the camera's seeing. It looks really good from here. But the, the key thing we want to know is whether the parts are in fact flexible or whether they're all fused together. Okay, there we go. And the bed is really hot since I was running it so hot. It's kind of burning my fingers. I figured maybe I could cool it down a little quicker if I used it like a fan. Telling it, okay, the print's done. Let's move that back. Maybe I can get them off with a razor blade without uh, waiting for it to cool so much. Oh, and in the uh, third attempt, this is the third attempt, like I said, there, I did two attempts, um, three attempts total. Two attempts failed, 
third attempt appears to have worked. Um, I also added glue stick, which is something that the Bamboo Labs website recommends you do if you're having problems. It's cooling down some. I'm sure the parts would probably come off if we let this plate cool all the way. Have I got my little spatula thing here? Let's. Here we go. I can't really hold it on screen and do it though. Okay, we got one off. Let's take a look. Well, they're not snapping in two. So that's good. That means the little pins are in there. As you can see, that's the tread design. Now, I've never tried snapping one together, but you can see there's the little, little nipples there and the little holes in these parts for them to snap into, apparently. Not knowing the right or the wrong way to do it. Or if there is a right or a wrong way to do it. I probably should have watched the video where the guy... Uh, from 365 actually assembles one of these. I'm assuming that there's a an easy trick to snapping those together. They're getting more and more flexible. That's good. All the little all the little joints. We're loosening them all up one by one here. Yeah, maybe I should just roll it up. Actually, very impressed with that. Oops, my glue stick. Got the old dollar store generic glue stick there. So the only thing I gotta figure out is the best way to go about snapping these together. And like I say, I think it might be in my best interest to uh, to watch the video to see if there's a trick to it because you've got four pins and four holes so how do you uh, how do you go about tricking it into going together easily seems like it would be fighting you seems like there's the least amount of surface to pass through from the top from the tread side So I'm thinking if I if I go at it this way, I guess I don't really care if I break it. I'm not planning on building the, the whole model. I just really picked the treads because I could see that they were going to be extremely difficult for a normal printer to print without screwing up. Okay, I got part of them snapped in. Let's see if we can get the other part to, to go. Nope. Not yet. Okay, well I'm going to keep playing with this until I either break it or get it snapped together. But the first thing I'm going to do is look it up on YouTube where he does a build of it and see if there's any uh, any trick to snapping the ends together or not. But as you can see the the little holes that they go into are closer to the tread side than they are the back side. So that's why I'm assuming that coming at it from this kind of a direction would mean I have to push the pins in less far or just straight, straight from the end would uh, be less. Maybe if I laid it on a tabletop. I'll try one more thing here before we before we go up. nothing for you guys to see. As you can see I was what I was trying to do was to force them in from the top. I'm gonna work on this. I'll post in the comments down below if I was successful in connecting these together. But as you can see they've 
loosened up quite well. Very impressed.